Hi guys, this is Stefan Zamit from NeuronFX.com and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can create this very nice liquid motion animation right inside of After Effects without using any plugins or templates. So let's get started, of course before we get started if you haven't subscribed make sure to hit that subscribe button and with that said we can start and let's see what we have in here. So this is liquid 01 and as you can see in here you have this very nice animation uh, which flows like this and then with that we're going to after we do that we're going to jump to this part in here where we can see how we can apply this to a real life example and create a logo animation using this liquid motion animation so let's get started now there are multiple ways of doing this but in this case we're going to see a modern technique of doing this using After Effects 2020. So let's go to Composition and create our new composition. And press OK in there. And let's dive right in. So first what we're going to do is we're going to grab the pen tool from here and we're going to create the path that we wanted to follow. So something like this would be great. So modify it see that it looks how you would like and this will basically is how your animation will flow basically so that's done now we can move to the next part let's open the shape layer in here open contents and from here you will find the stroke in here stroke one so open that up and if for any reason that is not there the stroke you can also add a stroke from here so go to this arrow in here and add stroke from here so with that said we can move on here and as we open stroke in here we will find that we have some different properties in here so first of all you can modify the stroke width and then you also have these in here the taper and wave these are new features for after effects 2020 and are features that we are going to use in this tutorial to see how we can create this liquid motion so let's start with the taper and what taper does is basically it can taper the edges of this so that it's not like a straight line in here and we will see in a second in here so if we go to start length and increase the percentage as you can see that will create a pointy tail in here just like that very very nice so i'm going to add a little bit of end length as well so that the end is as well a little bit pointy then you have the option to modify the start width in here but in this case i'm just going to modify the start ease and end these so let's see with the start ease in this case the start ease i'm going to leave it zero percent but the end ease i'm going to increase it a little bit so that it is rounded as you can see and as you can see you have the general shape already done in there now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the next step which is the wave and this is also a new feature in here and in here we can increase the amount and immediately you'll notice what it does it basically creates a wave pattern right over your your stroke so now we're going to increase the wavelength so that it is quite long as you can see perfect and what we can do is animate the face so i'm going to keyframe this go to around one second and make it revolve by minus two whole revolutions in here and as you can see now you have that animation going on in there very nice so with that done we can jump on to the actual animating of the of this this line here so let's go to add in here and from here let's add a trim parts modifier in here so that is our trim parts and with this we can basically animate this along this this line so i'm going as you can see to see what these do so just modify this the start and end and see which one you need to modify so in this case it is the end that i want to modify and we can start that from zero and end at 100 so let's go to zero seconds click the stopwatch go to one second and make the 200 percent 
as you can see and if we hit zero to ram preview it you can see that it is flowing right along with that path perfect so i'm also going to edit this start in here keyframe it so let's keyframe that from zero to a hundred so that we will bring that to an end as well and as you can see now it is flowing along a path and they're very very nice now you can play with this so that it is the length that you want it in and that's basically done perfect and our animation is basically done now what we can do as well is we can add a little bit more detail in here and to do that i'm going to add in a new effect named turbulent displays so from effects and presets in here type in turbulent in here you'll find turbulent displays and simply drag and drop it over that shape layer just like that now you can increase the amount in here as you can see to increase that turbulence and decrease maybe the size just like that and play with it until you have something that you like I'm not going to add a lot of this so something like 20 would be good just giving it a little bit more more animation in there perfect and then we can keyframe the evolution so put a stopwatch at zero seconds and at the end of this i'm going to make that two minus one so that everything flows in there i'm going to find the wave keyframe that i had done earlier and move it to the end in here so that it is exactly at the end of this and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit u on my keyboard to bring all of the keyframes in here select all the end keyframes just like that go to the graph editor and make them easy easy in here so that it will start fast and end slowly perfect very nice one final touch that we can add is to add a little bit more volume at the start and then end it smaller at the end so to do that i'm going to go to stroke width keyframe that make that around 150 maybe and then at the end make that a 50 perfect now you can see how all of that works and let's from the graph editor there make that easy easy as well perfect one final thing is i'm seeing that there is quite a lot of animation here so i'm going to re reduce it just a little bit from uh, the phase in here we have done it to minus two i'm going to make it minus one so that it only do one whole revolution here and that is better perfect so this is this I, I like it how it is and with that done as you can see it has like this inky paint liquid style animation here very very nice and with that done we can move on to the next part which is basically our logo animation so let's see how we can use this let's i'm just going to duplicate this composition Control D on your keyboard, enter inside of it. And what I'm going to do, it's a, going to be a very, very simple process. First of all, I'm going to reduce the size of the stroke in here. So now that we have the base animation done, we just need to reduce the size of the stroke in here. And so I'm going to start it at 50, as you can see, instead of 150, and end it at around 30 or even less. So like 20 and at 20 and start at maybe 40. Perfect. Let's preview it. Very, very nice. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the animation here, tweak the path so that it starts from the middle and ends somewhere at the edge in here. So pick the pen tool and you can start playing with these so that it's wherever you like them to be basically. 
I'm going to move them so that it's kind of a straight line here. Of course, a bit of a wave is always nice as well. Perfect, so let's see how that looks. Looking quite good. We can check out this title action safe in here so that we can check the middle of this and make sure that it is starting from the middle. Perfect. I like it. Now, what I'm seeing is it is a bit slow for my logo, for, for what I'm going to do. So I'm going to pick all those keyframes, make sure, of course, to hit U on your keyboard. So hit U once in here, it will show all your keyframes. Pick all those keyframes. I'm going to go to the last of these keyframes, hold Alt on my keyboard and simply drag. And with this, you can, as you can see, tweak the speed of all those keyframes at once. This is a great technique for you to tweak, to retime your keyframes at the end. Perfect. And I'm seeing that it's a, it is a little bit too long as well, staying a little bit too long. So this start one in here, I'm going to push forward so that it's shorter, as you can see. Perfect. So I love that. Let's now start and simply duplicate this. So Control D, and now it's just a matter of adding more of these and pushing them where you, where you want. Just keep the middle as it is, and don't be afraid to make these random, since that's what we're going after. Perfect. Let's add a few more. Just like that, always keep the middle where it is. I'm going to add one right over here. You can also give them different lengths. And let's see how this looks. Quite nice. I like this. Maybe we can add just a short one right over here. Just like this. Perfect. And that's basically done. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give them different colors. So just pick this stroke in here and change the color of these. So for this one, okay, this nice green. And I think three colors are enough, so I'm just going to pick with these. That is good how it is, that's good. Let's pick with this one. Okay. And we can make this green. Perfect. Let's preview this. Hit zero on your keyboard. Very nice. Something else that we can do is we can modify slightly the size of each one of these so that they are a little bit different. So let's hit U on our keyboard for the first one here. And if we go to the stroke, make sure that you are on the keyframe in here. And I'm going to reduce this for instance. So that it's a little bit smaller. Go to the next one. Let's increase that to something like 80. Nice. Let's go to another one. And let's make it 100, start off at 100. And last one. Let's see. U. And I'm going to start that off at like 60. So perfect. Let's see how that looks. Very nice. So now we can add our logo. So let's bring in our logo. So this is our logo. I'm going to scale it down so that it is right in the middle, right over there. 
and I'm simply going to add a quick animation here on this scale so I would like that to be right over there at the size that I want it and start at zero just like that of course we need to retime this a bit with the graph editor Let's hit the easy easy in button see how that looks perfect and one small trick that we can do is in here we can go to the middle of this and as you can see the end is a nine percent and if we go to the middle we can make it like 11 so that like that we get get this kind of nice bounce very nice so i like it how it is just a few final touches we can add a background in here with so let's go to new solid and add a background make sure that it, it is at the bottom of this and we, we can add a gradient to that background so let's go to gradient ramp drag and drop and I'm going to give it dark colors in here just so I have a little bit of texture in there and of course you can move these points like that and I also usually increase the ramp scatter in here so that it's smooth in here perfect and another thing is I'm going to change the color of my logo let's find a fill effect simply drag and drop it right over there and I'm going to make it this like kind of violet color to match with my animation and finally we can add some glow to bring that all together so let's go to new adjustment layer go to glow in here and simply bring that in like that and we can play a little bit with the threshold in here increase the radius just like that and maybe the intensity so that's good I'm going to duplicate glow so that I have another one a little bit more strength and increase the radius a lot on this one and you can decrease the glow intensity even of the first one let's make this 30 so that's basically it I like it how it is I'm just going to play a little bit more with the color of this one so that I get the glow that I'm going after in here perfect and finally we can also add a curves color correction curves in here curves effect too just tweak a little bit more the colors of this perfect so let's see how that looks and that's basically it it's quite flashy as you can see with this nice animation in there going on so this can be great for your logo intro and as you can see it can be done in a few minutes with some easy steps in here so i hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial of course don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button to get notified of new tutorials that we are creating on this channel so thank you very much for watching